Do you want to know something real funny? When I made my original overview video for the MSI Pro Z690A, I actually had someone accusing me that I pretend to own a motherboard, whatever that means. Well, uh, surprise, surprise, uh, yeah. It's actually here. I, I have it in my hands. I do actually have one. So there we go, Mr. Random Commenter. I win, you lose, so everyone's a winner. Anyway, let's go straight into actually unboxing this thing. The model I have here is the DDR4 one, mainly because, well, um, getting any DDR5 memory at MSRP is close to impossible. And oh, man. And you really gotta love that special moment when you get to unbox hardware for the first time. That is a good looking motherboard. Look at it. I really love the direction that MSI has taken with the motherboards. I wasn't a super big fan of the previous models, but like now when they switch over to the new logo and everything and a whole different like design design philosophy, I guess you could say, it really is paying off. Look at this thing. And honestly, seeing how little um stuff there is on this motherboard, it's actually surprisingly heavy. Like, honestly, I have no idea how it's so heavy because heatsink wise, all you have is your, of course, VRM uh, heatsinks here and here. You have this tiny shroud for only one of the four. Yes, you have four and two slots here. And of course, the cooling on the chipset. Man, isn't it amazing though? Even just an embursion motherboard nowadays, you can get so many insane features. Again, you have four and not two. So keep in mind that two of these aren't full length compatible plus you also have a PCIe Gen 5 16x slot here and two additional PCIe I believe these are Gen 4 they actually hmm what are they so never mind they're just I believe electrical 8x but physical 16x so I'd assume that they are Gen 3 or maybe they're doing like one Gen 4 one Gen 3 that makes sense and of course this 1x is probably Gen 3 you don't need that much bandwidth for that on top of that you of course have four dim slots either DDR4 or DDR5 depending on what you go for and going up here towards the CPU socket you can see that you have a total of two eight pins two full eight pins going to the CPU for a budget motherboard that is actually pretty insane and they're using a pretty standard little uh, shield for the cpu socket actually how on earth do i take this off well it's definitely not coming off in shipping oh there we go it's like too little there we go and it looks like it's been doing a job because i can't see on like first inspection any uh bent pins at all so that's good now one thing that is pretty interesting about this motherboard is its rear io as you can see here it has pretty much everything you could want it has even has ps2 but it also has tons of usb it has both hdmi and display port for integrated graphics and that is especially important nowadays seeing how hard graphics cards are to get so many people may be buying this platform just to run on integrated graphics and then getting a GPU later. And by the way, if you want to know exactly how well a 12600K performs on integrated graphics, then definitely subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have that video up very soon running on this motherboard. Going back to the rear IO, you have 2.5 gigabit LAN. Again, awesome to see. Great to see that that is the standard. You have also an additional USB 3.2 here, USB Type C, which is awesome. And then you get to the audio. Now, it's great to see that unlike people like Gigabyte, who have been cutting down on audio, only including three audio jacks, a mic in, line out, and optical, here you have six. But then you notice that uh, you may have six, but there's no optical anywhere. Like, why? <laughs> that is such a weird way to do it. Five standard jacks and optical. That has been a standard forever. It works well. It means that everyone has what they want. Simple, easy. Why on earth are these companies trying to deviate from that in this generation of motherboards? But one thing I'm still disappointed by is that we're still dealing with non-integrated IO shields. And I guess if we look in here, we'll find it. Yep, there is our IO shield and also some other accessories. On top of some N2 screws, you also get some SATA cables and also a driver CD as well. And the rear IO shield itself looks fine. I actually like it. It does have a design on it, as you can see here. You can see the little uh, Pro Series logo and everything. That is cool. If you do have to have an IO shield that isn't attached from the factory, at least putting some decorations on it, that is really, really nice. But again, the year is 2021, almost 2022. I would have hoped that integrated IO shields are kind of the norm by now. And just kind of like looking around at what kind of internal connects we have here, I am seeing a lot of really good stuff. There's literally like five fan connectors right here and another one here. So your CPU is pretty much covered. And I think you also have some extra ones here, I believe. And you also have some more here as well. Yeah, when it comes to fan control, you are set. 
plus also RGB. Speaking of RGB, one thing I'm not seeing is uh, addressable RGB. Actually, no, we do have a RGB connected. There's one here, one here. But for whatever reason, MSI labels their normal connectors JRGB and then the addressable ones J Rainbow. J just label it the same as the rest of the industry, please. I'm begging you. This is gonna confuse so many people who are looking around for an ARGB port and we find these like J Rainbow ones. Plus, of course, you have that TPM 2.0 over there, which is extremely important if you want to run Windows 11. And this port is advertised everywhere literally even on the box as Windows 11 compatible. Last thing I'm interested in is this uh, heat spreader we have for one and not twos. Now again, some people might say, oh, why not are we getting only one? But the thing is that most high speed PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSDs do come with their own nowadays because they just get so warm. And yeah, it's literally just a pretty standard one. You have a little heat band that goes the whole length here and then just some tape to protect it, and the whole thing is nice metal. It's really decent actually, but again, most people are probably going to be using integrated heat spreaders that come with the NVMe SSDs. But speaking of heat spreaders and shrouds, one thing I do love about this motherboard is that it is not covered in shrouds. And I know that this is going to be a very uh, controversial opinion, but I hate, hate that kind of style of motherboards like the new Aeoros ones, where pretty much the whole thing is covered in shrouds, where you can't even see all that beautiful circuitry underneath. I don't know why, maybe just because I do really find a lot of beauty in electronics, but I like motherboards bare, I like them exposed, and there goes the monetization for that video. Huh. Well, whatever, motherboards can be sexy as well, right? But anyway, clearly I just love my motherboards naked, and if you liked this motherboard, then make sure to pick it up using our Amazon associates links. They're coming up in the iCards and down in the video description below. Because if you use those, you don't pay anything extra, while we get some money that goes straight back reinvested into the channel. In fact, you don't even have to buy this motherboard. You can literally buy anything on Amazon using our links, and it still works. If you're not happy the channel in other ways, then make sure to subscribe and like. It does go a long way. Plus, also when you check out our merch store down in the video description below, if you do like motherboards, we have a nice re motherboard IO design that I'm really fond of. Or also maybe check out my Patreon, because even just one singular dollar a month goes a long way in having this channel and allows us to make way better videos on videos on way more interesting topics, like this motherboard for example. And you get tons of great perks as well, including previews and upcoming projects, plus exclusive posts where I dive deeper into the tech I reviewed. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, FKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, and Common Gage Globic. Thank you guys so so much, support truly goes a long way. Danny, you're also going to find our Discord server if you want to talk to me or us about this sort. What it else really? For example, if you're burning up your own PC, you don't know what kind of parts to get, or you just want to nerd out and talk about PC gear with other fellow geeks, then definitely check out that Discord server and then there's a social media links as well. But I'll be posting tons of sexy pictures of this motherboard and other great tech. But anyway, that's what it's so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.